Infamous rapper and producer Kanye West and German mega corporation Adidas partnered up in 2015 to create one of the most influential sneaker brands of all time, Yeezy. And this is after Kanye left Nike for not paying him for his footwear royalties in 2013 with the Nike Air Yeezy 1 and 2. And from 2015 to 2022, Kanye and Adidas released some of the most avant-garde and boundary pushing footwear, which were almost all instant successes, most of the drops selling out within minutes. And the Yeezy brand grew to an enormous $1.7 billion in revenue by 2020, outpacing giant brands like Jordan, all of which Kanye was receiving 11% royalties from. But in 2022, there were rumblings that Kanye wanted out of the deal and publicly criticized Adidas CEO Casper Rorsted of stealing Yeezy designs from Adidas and promoting Yeezy Day without his permission. And this is where all hell broke loose because then in October of 2022, Kanye wore a White Lives Matter shirt to the Paris Fashion Week and then made several anti-Semitic remarks and then followed up that entire month by continuing his anti-Semitic remarks on podcasts, Instagram, Twitter, and pretty much anywhere else you could find Kanye, he was going after it. Even saying blatant things like, I can say anti-Semitic and Adidas can't drop me. This was followed by a giant surge of social media campaigns demanding Adidas into the relationship with Kanye, which Adidas did on October 23rd, 2022. And this split was said to have a $250 million impact on Adidas in the short term and an estimated $1.3, $1.3, and an estimated $1.3 billion effect in 2023 alone. And the termination of this partnership resulted in Adidas having the rights to the shoe designs and the enormous stock of unsold Yeezys, but Kanye, he maintained the rights of the name Yeezy. And also that year, Adidas sold all the remaining stock and donated all the profits to charity. And Kanye immediately took to social media again, expressing his anger with Adidas for selling the colorways that he didn't want to make and didn't get paid for. And by the end of 2023, Kanye had kept the Yeezy brand running despite the public backlash and Adidas pulling the plug on the whole project and he was already set to, to release a foldable sock, the Yeezy Pods. And the pods were part of the whole new line of Yeezy footwear and accessories being developed now without Adidas, which included boots, heels, new slide sandal designs, uh, sneakers, yurts, uh, basically anything you could imagine Kanye would come up with. Batmobile EVs with the thousand horsepower. And when he finally released these, they don't look very nice with this all. <laughs> Starting with the release of the pods that initially sold for $200 in December of 23, Ye claiming on Instagram that they sold 266,000 pairs of pods, totaling $5.3 million in sales. A far cry from the billion dollar brand that Yeezy used to be with Adidas, but still not a not a bad chunk of change. And, and just when things look back to normal and business as usual for Kanye, Ye, when he proceeded to release his new album and drop the price of these $200, <laughs> socks to $20 in February of 2024 with the vertical Super Bowl ad that sparked a myriad of memes and backlash from customers who had purchased these for $200, which in my opinion, is just your fault if you did. Now in mid 2024, they're still selling like hot capes. People are complaining online that they can't get them and they're taking forever to ship. So clearly there's huge demand with it, along with a bunch of other products on their website with some really wacky marketing. I saw you one on TikTok where it's clearly just an AI talking through a picture of a girl. So is this a sign that Yeezy is back and here to stay? Is this a sign of Kanye slowly spiraling the drain as his mental health and connection to reality erodes? Or is this intentional marketing? Are these shoes literally just socks? Are they worth $200 at the initial drop price or $20? Why did he sell everything for $20 when historically Yeezys have been overpriced type shoes? Uh, there's a lot behind this that I don't think people are catching. And so we're gonna cut these in half, run through our test to really figure out what Kanye's doing because there's the surface level that we all see, but there's the business underneath all all of this that I think everyone is sleeping on. I think Kanye is clowning a lot of people in the sneaker world. Hey, we got the cold plunge set up outside the shop. I did not realize this was in the contract, but we're gonna see if the Glacial Bay soap is as fresh and crispy as an ice plunge. Ah! All right. Ain't no thank. Woo! <laughs> The thing I like about Evergrande Jack is it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I want to show you our new scents from Everyman Jack without underwear on. We got our Glacier Bay. It smells like glaciers. Thanks to Everyman Jack for sponsoring this video. Check out all their products. I use their shower stuff every day and their beard balm. It's as refreshing as a cold plunge, even though this is not refreshing. So what is this shoe or sock? 
The brand is Yeezy. The style is the Pod. They weigh 6.6 .6 ounces. They initially retailed for 200, but now they're 20. They're made in Italy. And the way that they position this product is in true Yeezy style with not a lot of information. But they do come in three sizes, one, two, and three. And that's about all there is to know. So now start looking at what this shoe is actually made from, starting with the upper first. This is literally just a sock. There, it's You can go to Walmart and get a compression sock for people with diabetes or nurses that are standing all day. That's exactly what this is. This It's just a compression sock. And I don't think that's surprising to anybody, but we did burn it to try to figure out what the material is and it melted and got all gooey. So it's clearly some sort of synthetic material, 1.3 millimeters thick. And ultimately it is literally just a sock. So on track to be worth $20, not that $200 that it was initially released as, which makes me think that might have been part of the, the strategy behind this is to sell initially for $200 to build up that perceived value so that when they did drop it to $20, everyone's like, oh, that's a crazy deal. I'm gonna get a pair of Yeezys for 20 bucks. Are you kidding me? Versus initially selling for $200 and like, hey, what is Kanye doing? He's selling us this cheap junk. Like I'm not gonna buy $20 Yeezys. There's a lot of difference in the perceived value of those two different situations. So I think that's part of the strategy behind this. But then if we start looking at the inside of this, let me pull out my personal leg simulator. Uh, there's a huge flaw in this that I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about. And it's the fact that on the inside here, there is a somewhat of a counter cover that's glued on there to help prevent premature wear through the heel because these are made to be worn as more like shoes rather than socks. But the problem is that when you have two layers of material that are glued together, one stretchy, one not, it's only a matter of a few wears before that starts delaminating and you can literally just pull this off. So all I'm doing is stretching that. I'll give you some sounds. That's the sound of this counter material delaminating. Super easy from the shoe. And there's also one in the toe that has that delaminates just as easily. And even if this was glued on as well as humanly possible, it's still gonna fail over time because of that stretch differential between the two. So this really makes me wonder if the concept was to sell them for $200, but as soon as the initial batch of these went out and people are like, hey, the counter just peeled off after the first wear and it's, it's literally just a compression sock with a couple pads on it. I wonder if it just did not co go off as well as they thought it would and everyone saw it for exactly what it was. And they're like, I'm not paying $200 for this. This could all easily be a high level PR spin on a liquidation cell of a failed product. And instead of Kanye taking a hit to the ego and his design prowess, they spun it to be like, oh no, it's $20. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's smart. We're doing a marketing thing here. When in all reality, they're just liquidating thousands of these. But like I mentioned in the beginning, there's still people that are on social media complaining that they've been waiting months and months for their easy pod. So I, I don't know. Then another thing that backs up the idea that this is just a failed product generally is the insole suffers from the exact same problem. It's the sock just wraps underneath and then this is glued down. It's not sewn anywhere, it's just all glue. And after a few wears, it's just gonna come undone and dislodge just like all the other components. But the one thing that might actually give this product some value is the outsole because you can see it's a two piece outsole. They seem to be made of rubber. The durometer is around 70 shore A. We did the bar drop test on it, bounced up 5.3 inches and you can kind of feel that there's something on the inside. So I don't think it's just rubber that's glued to it. And we did the puncture test and the front pad took 65 pounds. The back pad took around 75 pounds. So my question now is what's on the inside of these pods? Because I think it's really gonna tell us the intention behind the shoe. Because if it's literally just a piece of rubber glued to a sock, then it is, it's just a $20 sock. But if there is more to it, it could point to some other conclusions. So let's cut them in half and find out. All right, we got them cut in half, so let's open them up and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I think Kanye is actually doing with all this, because I think he's clowning the whole sneaker world. So let's see what's inside. So there is actually a midsole in here. And the interesting thing is the foams are different hardnesses because the toe foam comes in at a 20 short A, 
whereas the hill comes in at a 30. So that tells me that maybe it's not just all a cash grab and there is some intention behind these shoes and not just being a compression sock with everything just lightly glued to it. At least there's something to the outsole and midsole. So are these just socks that Kanye is selling for 20 bucks? No, they're clearly meant to be worn to some degree, just not very well. There's just so many flaws and issues with this that it is is a very terrible design. So was all this a marketing ploy to build the perceived value at $200 so a lot more people bought them at $20? I don't think it's all a marketing tactic to sell it, but I think there was some intention there to build the brand value and the value of this product. And I can't imagine these cost more than $10 to manufacture and that doesn't include shipping. But I don't think any of that's the main reason of why this is the way it is and how it all came to be. Cause I think it all comes down to margins and money because when Kanye was with Adidas, he was only getting 11% of profits. And I don't know if that's straight profits or if that's net profit, which even still, it's not a, it's not a small number for a billion dollar brand, but it still is only a small collaborator cut compared to the amount that Adidas would be making. So how do you increase that cut if you're Kanye? Well, the easiest and fastest way to do it is to break away from Adidas. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking. Make them break the contract on their end, maintain the Yeezy brand and run it as your own brand, opening up three to five times the margins, if not more, rather than making Adidas a bunch of money. So even though this is just a $20 sock, it's still a $20 sock. And if Kanye was making 11% on a $200 shoe, that's $22 profit, and he's getting maybe $10 per pod, all he has to do is sell twice as many $20 socks to make around the same profit that he'd be making on a regular pair of Yeezys when he was with Adidas. And where Kanye is the reason why Yeezys sell so much and not Adidas, you can understand why he would want Yeezy to be his own brand. It doesn't have to be a billion dollar brand for him to make more money than he did with Adidas. So was Kanye slowly spiraling the drain with his, as his mental health and his connection to reality erodes, or is this intentional marketing? He knows exactly what he's doing. You cannot convince me otherwise. It's not a coincidence that everything that he says and does just keeps making him more successful, more notorious, more wealthy, more well-known. Is he really just the luckiest artist of all time despite all his efforts to get himself canceled and tank his career and ruin everything he's doing? No, it's there's no way it is. This has all the hallmarks of a strategic exit from a billion dollar contract, but I also don't think it's all an act. I think that re is really who Kanye is. So when everyone selectively loves Kanye, then the next day they hate him and then they love him again and they hate him again. That's the engine that he's attached his entire career to, in my opinion, and he's clowning everyone that hangs on everything he says and every step he makes. Those are the people that have made him for better or for worse mostly for worse. And it goes without saying, I don't support the stuff that he says, but in my opinion, dismissing him and refusing to talk about him and all the things that he does just helps him keep pulling the wool over everyone's eyes because everyone just assumes he's just, oh, he's some crazy guy, Kanye, doing Kanye things. It's not coincidence. And especially with this $20 sock because Kanye is kind of the $20 sock of the footwear world that was started at $200 and then dropped to $20 then had all this crazy marketing, all this stuff around it. Is it good? Is is it bad? Is it junk? Is it, it's this $20 sock is Kanye's career. Does that make sense? So let me know what you guys think and what your opinion is of Yeezy, Kanye, the pods, what your experience is in them. What do you think is going on with this? Is he some mastermind hiding behind this front facing Kanye? Or is he just out there doing his thing and somehow it just keeps working over and over and over? Let me know and thanks for your guys' support. If you're not subscribed, consider doing it. So thank you guys. See ya.